Hey, watch me fade every day in the morning. 2 a.m., yeah, I'm sipping and I'm zoning. Watch me move, watch me sway, watch me dip out. In a room full of girls, I'm trying to dig out. <laughs> All right, so if you were flying from the U.S. to Canada yeah. and the plane crashes all right. on the border, okay. where do you bring the survivors? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be flying to Canada because it's Canada. Okay. All right, same, you know what I was talking about. Okay, uh, are they Canadians or are they Americans? They're from America going to Canada. But they're like citizens of America? Yeah. <laughs> Probably bring them back home. So you bury survivors? Oh, uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> the fuck you say to me, you little shit? Survivors? Yeah. Um, you, you, so the, both, you said no, you can't bury survivors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got on. Some months have 31 days, some of them have 30 days. How many have 28? Isn't there just one? Which one is it? It's like leap year, right? Stop it. Get some help. A March? No, nah, they, they all have 28 days. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a trick question. What it is hell? a trick question. That's embarrassing. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so some ones have 31 days, others have 30 days. How many have 28? All of them? <laughs> she got it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so what flies faster? An eagle at 15 miles per hour or a penguin at 30? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with the eagle. Penguins don't fly though. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so some months have 31 days, others have 30 days. How many have 28? What? Some months have 31 days, some have 30. How many have 28? All of them. Alright, you gotta get shit all of them. Alright, so what flies faster? An eagle at 30 mi 15 miles per hour or a penguin at 30 miles per hour? What, what flies faster? Yeah. Well, one only flies, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so a plane is fly flying from the U.S. to Canada, mm -hmm. and it crashes on the border. Where do you bury the survivors? Where do you bury the survivors? Yeah. Mm, that's a good trick question. Uh, where do you bury the survivors? Do you bury them in the U.S. because they're U.S. citizens, or do you bury them in Canada? Hmm. They're on the border, so. You just bury him on the border. Bruh. You know what's right. funny though? Hold on, wait, no, don't tell me. You know what's funny though? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Nah, nah, nah. You know what's funny? Wait. Where did the plane crash? On the border. Right on like, smack on, on the border. The border yeah. Like, uh, it's on the border. But you know what's funny though, right? Go ahead. You don't bury survivors. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right, so what flies faster? An eagle at 15 miles per hour or a penguin at 30 miles per hour? Flies, I mean, wouldn't it be an eagle? Because it flies. Why? Because it's flying. Yeah, but if a penguin is flying at 30 miles per hour. It depends what way you put fly. It's flying. Like, an eagle at 15 miles per hour and a penguin at 30 miles per hour. Which one flies faster? A penguin at that point. A penguin? Yeah. But penguins don't fly, though. I, I, <laughs> All right, so there's a there's a plane flying from the U.S. to Canada, right? Yeah. And it crashes on the border. Where do you bury the survivors? I buried them in the United States. Oh no, nah, in Canada. Why? Nah, I don't know if they Canadian. I'm buried you know, in Canada. If they from the U.S., I'm buried them in the U.S. So, boy, if you don't. So you would bury survivors? <laughs> oh, you fuck. <laughs> so a plane's flying from the U.S. to Canada. And it crashes on the border. Where do you bury the survivors? Uh, would you bury them in the U.S. or would you bury them in Canada? I think the U.S. Because they came from the U.S. I don't really know how that works. So you'd bury survivors? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're locked in the back of a car. Okay. All right, like you're completely locked in the back. The window's down a little bit. And it's raining outside. How do you yeah, get out? There's a beach right on you. You're locked in the back of a car? Yeah, and the like the window's like halfway down and it's pouring outside. How do you get out the car? Wouldn't you just unlock the door? <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Alright, so a plane is flying from the US to Canada, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And it crashes on the border. Where do you bury the survivors? I guess on the line. You just bury them in the middle? I guess so. Yo, kill me with this So you'd bury survivors? No, actually <laughs> not. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as well. I mean it's not funny, but damn, you got me there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's it called? So, if a plane is flying from the U.S. to Canada and it crashes on the border, where do you bury the survivors? I heard that question before. Where would you bury them? In between the border. Not even. Oh, no, you can't bury them because the plane crashed, so technically, they, yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah, but... It's some shit like that. But they didn't. You said bury what the survivors? You you don't bury yeah. survivors. All right. So if a plane was flying from the U.S. to Canada and it crashed on the border, where would you bury the survivors? You don't bury survivors. That boy knows the question. <laughs>